Is this thing on? I think we're good. I think we're good. Hey everyone, it's Mr. Latin here and we are in lockdown. I hope you are surviving. I hope you aren't going insane and I hope that we can all stay safe and healthy, but I also hope this ends really soon. We are trying something new. Since we can't get together, since we aren't doing school, I am going to try and do a, no a novel with you, our last novel of the year. I'm going to try and do it online. Let me talk about how that's going to work and talk about some rules or some expectations we have. First of all, relax. <laughs> we are not grading this. I am not going to give you an F if you don't participate. I'm not going to give you an A if you do every single thing. I want you to have fun. I want to stay connected. I want to learn and grow and hopefully keep us sane. But I don't want you to stress about this. I want this to be something that we can learn from and something that we can stay connected in. So what does it look like to do English class online during lockdown? Well, we're going to read our final novel of the year, Chickadee by Louise Erdrich. And I'm going to do it both on YouTube, where we are now, and on Google Classroom, probably where you came to to find the link for YouTube. So what does this look like? Twice a week, I'm going to post a reading on our site. It's going to be the text from the novel, and you can click and read it in the Google Doc, or you can just download it as a PDF and print it if that's your thing. But either way, you can read it on the screen, you can read it on your mobile phone, or you can um, download it and read it on a piece of paper. Twice a week, I'm also going to read the section we're reading from the novel. I'm going to read it online, out loud, live, if I can do it. <laughs> you can uh, follow along live and make comments and stuff, or you can just catch up later with the recording, and I'll post that link here on, this, on Google Classroom. Number three, we're going to have discussion questions at the end. That's a big part of our reading. This is where we bring in our connections to the real world. We bring our notice and note questions. Remember all our signposts from last year or from <laughs> last year? It was just three weeks ago. Our signposts, we're going to try and make connections with that, with our aha moments, with our contrasts and contradictions with um, our signposts. Uh, maybe this will be a journal. Maybe you can throw in notes. Maybe you can do comments on the YouTube channel or even um, audio recordings from your cell phone. We'll look into that and see what we can do. Finally, we will do little quizzes and vocab tests here every week. Again, it's not graded, but it's a chance for us to think about the words we're learning, the concepts we're learning, and um, kind of have a little competition. I'll probably be using Kahoot because Kahoot is awesome and it's fun and we can have a fun, a fun competitive atmosphere without getting carried away. So Kahoot and maybe some um, uh, Google what is that called? Uh, Google Forms. So that's what we're doing. And I'm going to um, start next Monday. This is our kind of soft start. We'll give you the whole weekend to get signed on. And we'll see how that goes. Let me show you just a little bit um, the first few pages of the book we're doing. This is on my uh, Kindle. And it's, once again, Louise Erdrich, Chickadee. This is book four of the Birch Bark House series. Early this year, we read The Porcupine Year. So there are about 25 chapters in this book, and we'll probably read about three chapters a week. Um, some of them are long, some of them are a little shorter, but um, we're going to have a good time. We're going to read, and I'm going to learn how to do this, and hopefully it'll be a fun experience for all of us. So next week, we're going to read the prologue and the first two chapters. I sure hope you have a uh, good weekend and you stay safe and sane that um you stay away from all those nasty viruses and that you're able to think about things like the Medewin code and remember to care for other people thank you for listening and thank you for being willing to do this and you guys are so awesome i miss you and i hope we can get back together before too long in real life have a great weekend <laughs>